I will be Ric Flair, cause woo! Hey, what is going on, everybody on YouTube, wherever you're watching this shit? Coleman Cakes, good to be back. Hope everyone's having a great November. It's flying by for me. Next week is Thanksgiving, so I'm wishing all y'all a happy Thanksgiving. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel or you guys are recurring view, thanks for visiting. You know, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe. The channel always means so much to me. Anyways, let's just get started. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of the Akron Presto Racer Pink Colorway. If you guys saw the previous video that I dropped, you guys did see that I did an unboxing. So I'm finally going to be doing an actual review on them. And you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to be Ric Flair because woo! This is a sweet ass colorway. Let's get into it. Um, let's just take a look at the box really quick. So if you guys can tell, it's just, it's a much different box than most Nike boxes. It does have a matte black finish with the re reflective Nike, like Nike sign and the check. But anyways, I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna break it down um, and then talk about everything that we need to talk about. So let me just open this box up really quick. Oh yeah, the box is also slide out, which I think was really, really crazy when I first got them. Cause I don't typically get super like, exclusive pairs. I also did not wear them at all until we had the shoot today. I got these shoes two weeks ago and you know I had to put them away so I wouldn't even be tempted to wear them. So I'll set the box down right here. But man this colorway is so sweet. I think of all the three acronyms that dropped this is by far the loudest pair I've ever seen on a pair of acronyms. Maybe besides the um, what was it, that pink and green colorway this has got to be the next best thing. So let's just take a look at the shoe really quick. So the first thing I want to talk about to you guys is the cage. So if you guys take a look at the cage here, which holds the eyelids and the laces, it does come with a bunch of black and white, almost like a cream accent colorway, um, which also leaks onto the toe box of the shoe, which we'll get into later. Um, if you'll notice, this is a mid, it's almost like a sock fit. So that's also really cool to have. It hugs your foot really well, hugs your ankle really well. Um, that's something that I really liked about the shoe. The next thing that I definitely want to talk about is the actual color. So if you guys look at the toe box of the shoe, we do have this really nice hot pink on the upper right next to the Nike check that they have going on. And then at the collar of the shoe, they have this really, really rich blue that they have. And just to break up the, the color blocking of the shoe, we do have like this volt yellow that runs through. I think that was super essential to have on the shoe to make it up. Um, if this shoe was just blue and pink, I don't think I would have gotten it. It's what they had on, um, it also has the acronym print on it and whatnot. Another thing that I want to talk about today is definitely the zippers with the little acronym print on the side that goes all the way up to the collar. At first, I was really kind of questioning why they would put the zipper on it, but um, after just taking a look at it and uh, looking more into it, I did find out that they were also waterproof, so that's really important to have, especially if you're living where I live, um, Chicago weather, snows, whatever, so you need at least something to protect your shoes. The zippers also do have a lot of practicality. Um, it, it's used to kind of tighten or loosen the shoes however you want to wear them, and I think it just adds for a really, really nice just accessory to have on the shoe. If you notice at the back, of the zipper, we do have a button. You can make these little flaps flare out a little bit more. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys would definitely be the laces. So I'm a big fan of Presto lacing. Um, for the, those of you guys that watched the previous video, I did say that the Presto is my all-time favorite shoe. Um, they do have like a really narrow black oval uh, lacing. So I'm really glad they kept that consistent with all the other Prestos they came out with. And then another thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about before getting into like the midsole and everything is the black Nike check that they got going on on the toe box. Um, when I first bought Prestos, I bought the Triple Wide Essentials. I was not a fan of this. I thought it was the stupidest shit ever. It's like, why the fuck would why the fuck would Nike put such a small check that kind of looks a little dinky? But now that I'm looking at it, it's really grown on me. I really like that they used black of all the colors. I don't. I think if they used white, it would have been it wouldn't have been as noticeable. So it's really nice to have that really dark color mesh in with the really light color. Um, the only complaint that I have about the uh, the check on the upper is that you can sort of see where the stitching occurs. Some people might see that as kind of a natural, like you can see the stitching so you can see that they're handmade. I would have rather had it been a little bit cleaner. But other than that, no complaints about the shoe. Um, if you guys take a look at the midsole of the shoe, we do have like, it's kind of blocked off by white and black, so I kind of really like that. If they made it all white, I think it would have been a, kind of a miss for me. Um, but they kept that consistent with the uh, essential pressles as well. And if you take a look at the outsole of the shoe, it's very consistent with all the other essentials. All right, so now that we've gotten the actual review out of the way, I kind of want to talk to you guys about what would look good. So I know these are super, super, super fucking loud. So you kind of got to you gotta kind of mix and match your outfits accordingly. Um, for me, I kind of like keeping my outfits a little bit more plain when I am wearing really loud shoes. I want my shoes to be the focal point of my outfit every single time. So naturally, you'll almost never see me wearing super bright shirts. Um, I might have designs on them, but I'll never have too many like colors interfering with the actual shoe. Another essential that you gotta have is if you're wearing jeans on these, they gotta be skinny at the bottom 
If you don't have skinny jeans and they're slim, they'll look way too bulky at the bottom. So just get that tailored at like your local dry cleaner or anything like that. Um, another thing that you could wear with them would be joggers. I think joggers naturally have a, like a tighter cut at the bottom anyways. I just like wearing jeans just because the jeans make it pop a little better. That's the acronym Prestos. Another thing that I want to start doing on reviews is giving a shoe an actual rating out of 10. I think that's really, that'll be really cool for you guys to see what my taste in shoes are like. For these, man, honestly, these might have to be the pickup of the year for me so far. I know the year is ending, so I know that this is an accurate statement. This is by far the best shoe that I picked up this year, and I gotta give it out of 10. I gotta give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. I have absolutely no complaints about this shoe. I love them. I tried them on very briefly just to see how they would fit. They fit comfortably. Um, I always stick true to size with these. I got a size 9. Um, they don't go in half sizes, so I went the half size up for comfort. They are super comfortable when you're wearing them. But anyways, we're going to do a couple off-foot shots for y'all. I'll see you guys on the next video. It was good seeing you. It's been a fucking minute. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe like I said before. It means so much to me. And I'll see you on the next video. Later, bitch! Thank you.